Well, welcome, guys. Hey, I just want to come on tonight and uh, talk about what's going on with PSA, the Authentication and Grading Services Company. And I do want to thank everybody. And also tonight what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up two boxes of these 1951 Blake Jameson Wave 3. I actually got these about two weeks ago, and I put them to the side and wanted to open them on a live and see what we got. And so tonight is all basically going to be talking about sports cards, and and I did this spontaneous because I just read the news on uh, PSA, and I'll share it with you guys. And in case you guys don't know, PSA is like the leading uh, company that grades um, all kinds of uh, sports cards, autographs, and real quick. Hey, uh, auctions for you, T. Thank you for being here, Landshark Picker. Thanks for being here. I want to thank the people that watched the show last night uh, when I had on John from uh, New York, who uh, sells on eBay and and uh, buys and flips cards and is uh, doing stuff with Tops Project Twenty and Seventy and flipping those cards. Um, towards the end, it got it got crazy there because. This was shared out on a forum, I guess, on baseball cards, and we went from having like 12, 15 people to having 50 like in a minute like that. And uh, luckily I got a lot of people that wa they wanted me to go a little bit longer, but I had asked him to stay an hour, and I really didn't want to extend it any longer. I wish I would have had somebody like Craig. If he would have been here, maybe he could have joined me real quick, and we could have probably stayed on for another half an hour because uh, that video has something like – 600 let me let me double check real quick but it had like 600 views um let me see real 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 quick here yeah over 601 views on that uh last night that i uh talked about if you guys haven't checked out that watch watch it from last night and we're giving a, you got to watch it because we're giving away a tops project 70 card that is the highest print so far Twenty five thousand uh cards have been done so let's get into uh psa and, and what, I, what i'll do is for uh i'll show you guys how psa's website is used and how you can look up information and basically uh psa has decided to suspend uh, a lot of their services they are so overwhelmed and i'm going to read it to you guys um so this was up this is actually from today and um it says PSA customer update April uh, 2021, but it was released today. It says, hello, PSA customers. Since my last update, the momentum behind the hobby has only accelerated in the fact that our Collectors Universe president and CEO, Joe Orlando, re recently shared the reality of the surge of submissions to PSA. 
I'd like to further illustrate what has happened. The sheer volume of orders that PSA received in early March has fundamentally changed our ability to service the hobby. People are really jumping on the bandwagon. The reality is that we received more cards in three days than we did during the previous three months. I mean, think about that. In three days, they received more than they received in December, January, and February. Even after the surge, submissions continue at never-before-seen levels. Given our growing backlog, it will be disingenuous for us to continue to accept submissions for cards that we will be unable to process in the foreseeable future. So, guys, you can't send in no cards um, for the foreseeable future. Um, an unpleasant conclusion, especially after the March 1st price increase, but it is necessary to properly serve the customers who have already submitted to PSA. Effective immediately, PSA is temporarily suspending our value, regular, and express service levels. This will allow us to fully unbox and receive the recent surge of orders and focus on our most impacted service lines. Now, typically what's been happening, it's been taking four to six months to get cards back. So we will take a tiered approach to reintroducing these service levels. Our goal is to bring all suspended services levels back by July 1st, 2021. So they're not taking no new cards. Uh, so you're pretty much talking April, May, June. So the next three months, they hope to catch up. I mean, what, what a what a what a business they have a good business. Collectors Club members will have their membership automatically extended to match the duration of the value suspension. Hi, casual flipper. Hey, Sharon. Thank you for coming. This extension will ensure existing members have twelve full months to utilize their annual Collectors Club benefits. PSA growth planning and capacity expansion remains in full effect. We recently added, they added additional 58,000 square feet to our California operation on top of the 62,500 square feet we've added a few months ago, furthering our ability to hire and process orders. A successful virtual career fair on March 16th netted many fresh candidates meaning they're looking for help and they're looking for good quality people that can grade uh, the stuff that people send into them. Today, we stand 783 people strong and we are growing daily compared to 421 employees the year before at Collectors Universe in January. Uh, PSA is owned by the companies called Collectors Universe. Please also know that PSA is working on physical office expansion to new international markets and for the first time, new grading locations in the United States. This will help diverse submissions across multiple locations and allow PSA to tap into new grading talent across the hobby. More information will be announced in the near future. If you're interested in working for PSA, and, and I'm reading this, guys, as I, I didn't, I just caught this news and I'm reading it to you guys. If you are interested in working for PSA, please email your resume and your cover letter to our human resource department as it says jobs at collectors.com. Those interested in applying to become a grader should contact our grading recruiter, Mike Levine at mlevine at collectors.com. This announcement puts our existing customers first. Hey, guys, and I'll, I'll be right there with you. Uh, we've been extremely patient in waiting for your cards. This change will help get your cards back faster while maintaining the quality and accuracy you expect from PSA. We are working around the clock for you, and we appreciate your support as we grow our capacity. Thank you, and enjoy collecting. That's from Steve Sloan, the president of the company Collector's Universe. Um, yes. So real quick, I'm going to go over and, uh, and I'll show you a little things on PSA in case you guys have never checked it out. I do appreciate everyone that's joined me tonight. And, you know, I know not everybody's interested into baseball cards, but more people are getting interested who are resellers. And I am a reseller, but I'm also a collector and I enjoy the hobby. But more people are getting, uh, uh we don't need to see that the virus said I had a virus threat. Um, are, are getting into, you know, the hobby and stuff like that. So, uh, Sharon, thank you for stopping by real quick. I want to say hi. I always appreciate you guys. Casual Flipper. Uh, Kyle, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? Hey, Merry Christmas, Goose. What's up, buddy? How are you? 
uh, John, um, there will be huge consequences for other graders since they'll be soaking up tons of the demand. Oh, uh, yeah, like Beckett. Um, hey, John, what's up, buddy? How are you doing? Thanks for stopping. I appreciate it. Yeah, you know, Beckett, I was just um, – over in storage pirate and he just got back i think it was 92 or 96 cards and he just sent them in the right time i think he actually sent those in september october so the backlog was four to six months now they're not going to even accept new cards if you guys aren't familiar with uh psa psa is is basically the largest them and beckett uh grading services company that grade cards now people say why would you grade cards it makes a huge difference you, you could have a, a, a card that's worth $50 grade, you know, not grade it, and, and all of a sudden that card is graded, and it, it goes into thousands. So people are investing into cards. Now, let me let me show you a price guide here, and, 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 I'll, and I'll show you. Uh, for example, I uh, let's go with a 1973 Mike Schmidt. That is his rookie card. Now, Mike Schmidt... Who do you prefer to grade your cards? Honestly, I've never graded a card. I have bought graded cards, but I have never graded a card. I wish I could actually make this the full length of the screen, but I can't. If I do this, then I take myself out of it. So I don't want to do that. You guys get to still see my uh, pretty face. <laughs> but basically what happens is you can type in, if you see here, I, I typed in the price guide baseball. This is 19. Mike Schmidt is my favorite ball player. And you can go down and scroll to his card and see what the – I mean, look, here's a uh, Roberto Clemente. Here, here's a perfect example. Roberto Clemente, near mint is 7, is a $40 card, but a gem mint 10 is $12,500. So, I mean, it's it makes a big difference in grading cards. Look, Pete Rose. Pete Rose, everybody knows Pete a twenty five. If it's a 7, it's a $25 card. If it's a 10, it's a $4,500 card. Let's go to the – I have several of the Mike Schmidt uh, different grade cards. Nolan Ryan is 15000 gem mint. Now, guys, just so you know, I have two screens going here. So the StreamYard screen is right in front of me, and to the right is the screen that you guys are seeing on the PSA, and I'm going through and, and looking at that to pull up and scroll uh, through the population. This is the price, uh, and this doesn't cost you nothing to access this stuff. So if you're ever looking to buy cards or wonder what cards are really worth in, in as far as grading, this is the best way uh, to look at cards and see. Okay, here's the Mike Schmidt. You see that? I'm going to enlarge that. Mike Schmidt, a grade 7 is $290. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, yeah, see where it says ninety thousand. So a grade nine, mint nine is four thousand. But look at the difference between a gem mint is is ninety thousand. Now, what I'm going to show you guys, uh, the Mike Schmidt rookie card, and uh, I don't know if it gives me the number. Oh, oh, one thing I like about that here here's population. Now you can collect. You can click on that before you kind of had to go back. So now you could click on the population, basically how many cards uh, there are in a certain. So basically what has happened with PSA, there was 194,451 cards submitted, uh, 1,405 autographed cards. So in their system, and PSA, if you notice, they, they, they put a, a barcode on it, there's a hologram, and there, there's a serial number. So... They, they can track all that. Hey, Joe, thank you for stopping. I appreciate it. We're talking about the news about PSA suspending service, uh, sending in cards. So let's go look at that Mike Schmidt uh, card that is $90,000. Um, I don't know. I should know the card number. I mean, it's my favorite player, but let me see. Oh, it's three pages. So let me uh, – let's see. <clears throat> Basically, every card that is probably been graded has been sent in. So we're I can I can Google it to look up. I should uh, to look at the number. See how there's a number there to the left. What I'm looking for is the. Oh man, come on.
I know it's it's a, it's a higher card. Hold on, guys. Okay. I hope the computer doesn't shut down on me in the middle of doing this. It's actually been act, acting up. We have it plugged into too many, too many, uh, uh, too many, too many uh, things here. All right, Mike Schmidt should be card. Hold on, guys. Oh, there, card six fifteen. Okay, so. This is the easiest way to look. You figure out the card number, card 615. Uh, remember when I said it was 4,000 for grade 9? See above here is 9? That means there's 250 of those 9s out there. And that $90,000 uh, gem mint 10, there's 6 of them. So there's only 6 uh, in known existence in PSA. There's a total of 7,136 graded um, Mike Schmidt cards. Total, and then you could see the breakdown a one, a one and a half, a two. Uh, I actually own uh, very, uh, I think I own like one through eight, so I own uh, several of these grades all in that. Uh, and I think I probably only have one of the rare collections that have them in all those grades up to like an eight. Uh, so there, it's an easy way right there that you can look up. Um, PSA has, I mean, they, you can look up uh, here. I mean, here's their, here's their page. It's PSACard.com. Uh, it says WNBA cards are gaining momentum. So it's not just baseball cards. I mean, I the guest that John that I had on last night was talking about soccer cards. And I don't know nothing about soccer. I don't know nothing about ladies basketball. But it's not, I mean, I, I, I like baseball. I like some football. I do like football. I just don't know a lot, many of the current players. But as I watch... I'm an Eagles Chiefs fan, and I, I like the Phillies. But they have on. I mean, you, they have uh, people send in for wrestling cards. Uh, you know, even here you can click auction uh, uh, prices. So there's a lot on here. Uh, obviously, you're not going to be able to send cards in, but to learn about the hobby and learn about what the value of cards is. If you come across a nice card, sometimes you just might want to sit on it, and, and, and because it's going to be worth more uh, getting it graded. So I wanted to share that news with you guys. I'm going to open up my uh, Blake uh, Jameson 1951. These were They were selling these on tops only for four weeks. If you guys remember, I had Blake on the show. Uh, he is an artist that works with tops. Uh, I'm going to have uh, April, uh, two or three people. Um, Tyson Beck is going to be on. And like I said, if you watched the show last night, uh, one of the top cards that the guy at twenty five thousand uh, that would be fold the card if you set uh, on it. Not sure what that means. Show me pickers, John. But let's see. We'll we'll see if we get any rare cards in here. This is uh, wave three. I actually did get uh, a card from Blake, and he sent me a gift and sent me. But um, here's Derek. Here's Derek Jeter. You can see how nice these cards are. These were $19.99 a set, but they put some rare cards in here. Cody, uh, I don't know how to quite say his last name, Cody. Here is Frank Thomas. Now, these cards are smaller. These are uh, a remake of the night, Mike Piaz. This is Max. I don't know his last name either, so. I'm not good at always pronouncing these names. Oh, here's uh, good old Johnny Bench. Here's uh, Phil Rizzuto. Ozzy Smith. Jacob DeGrom. He played for the New York Mets. Here is Justin Yolander. Uh, Christian Yelich. If I can't say the last name, I'm just going to say the first name, Nolan. <laughs> and Ernie Banks in that one. So there was no uh, no one-off cards in this set. No words, no special cards. Uh, I have gotten a Nolan Ryan here. 
when I did uh, this is on, there's only it has a blue back and there's only 47 or 51. This card goes for about forty dollars on eBay and stuff like that. So you're gonna see me have about three artists a month coming on. I really do, do enjoy the hobby, and obviously uh, a lot of people are really interested lately. If if PSA is getting that kind of cards in, uh, because it's a, you know it's an investment. People are really seeing uh, what what it can do. I mean. I mean, people are into. I mean, this I, PSA grades Pokemon. They grade Mag. They grade. They grade all kinds of cards. And I don't pretend to know. I, I, there's no way I can know uh, every card. There's no way. Um, Derek. So basically, it was the same players in this box. I just. Oh, I did score a, a rare card. Nolan Arnando. Here we go. A green. It, this has a green back, and it's 24 of 25. So there we go. That card is worth about 40 to 50 bucks right there. So I scored a car uh, a card in uh, there. So I mean that that's good. What I want you guys to do if you get a chance and I really want people that if if you have if you have a son or somebody that plays baseball and likes to collect cards or um, or if yourself you like to collect cards I'm going to pull it up, the card that I am giving out. But you got to comment on yesterday's video. And you got to tell me the player that I'm showing you. I'm trying to encourage people. Only two people commented so so far. So I don't know. Let's, let's, it doesn't take much effort to get over there and, and, and comment. So this is the card, and I'll share it on the screen. There you go. There's full screen. This guy, Alex Pardee, has the highest right now 25,182 print run in 70 hours. He's making his cards look like sort of like comic books with the baseball card. But basically on yesterday's video, all you got to do is put in the comments the player's name. So there you go. A, a free chance to win this card. This is like a $25, $30 card right now. You know what I mean? So... It, it, you know, that's one thing I do, you know, you know, with the money that I earn, I, I just give it right back. So, yep, John, you just got to comment. You got to comment on yesterday's video, buddy, and uh, you'll get a chance to win. So, look, that's all I wanted to talk about today, what's going on with PSA, how you can look up information on PSA. I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to bore people to death that aren't into collecting cards. I do appreciate the support. I do appreciate you guys, uh, you know, if you could thumbs up and go over and watch that video yesterday and, um, you know, check me out on Facebook. I have a um, uh, Pat D's page made up, and you can follow me on Instagram, Pat D's 72 and, uh, you know, I talk about cards. Well, another thing I want to mention real quick is that I just confirmed with Brian, Mr. Buys a Lot, uh, Thursday, April – the first is April Fool's Day, but it's also uh, the first day of opening season MLB. So we're going to have on there some sports cards. We're going to have some sports figures. We're going to have some plaques. So I'm going to be on Mr. Buys a Lot channel on Thursday between 1 and 4 in the afternoon. And we're going to be auctioning off a whole bunch of different things. So uh, I just talked to Brian probably about a half an hour ago to confirm all that. And uh, I'm going to be bringing cards and different things over there that I think that you guys might be interested in. So if you guys could show me support and come over there too, and I'll do a preview video. I'm actually going to do uh, uh, lay everything out tomorrow night uh, up where we're going to do the auction. And I hope to see you guys there on Thursday afternoon. So if you guys give me a thumbs up, I'd greatly appreciate it. Have a good day and.